as a guitar maker, it's the stuff of dreams to make an instrument and get it to someone famous. You don't get more famous than Prince, and you don't really get any better as a guitar player. Ever since I started making these guitars, people had always said to me, that looks like the kind of guitar that Prince would play. <laughs> and after I'd heard that a few too many times, I, I, I thought, yeah, it is, I guess. I saw him at the O2 nine years ago when he did that run of shows. I thought, yeah, I'm definitely doing the right thing because I had the guitar almost finished at that point and I, was, I thought, yeah, God, if I could just get this instrument to him, he just looks so amazing with it. I did nothing else. I was working night and day on this thing for about three months. You don't make a lot of money per instrument and I only make a few per year, so you really do it for other reasons, for the joy of making. <laughs> and uh, the joy of seeing them get into people's hands and being used. I mean, they are fantastic things to make guitars. But this is the Purple Special. It became known as a guitar that Prince maybe hadn't quite got. <laughs> and I, I still don't know to this day, actually, what prompted Paisley Park to get in touch, but they did. They approached me and, uh, and asked me about it. They basically came and picked it up and took it to the States, and, and that was the start of it all. I think it got to them around 10th of March. He'd really only had it for a very brief period, you know, five, six weeks. So this is one of the last photos taken of Prince to actually see it in his hands. Was, was, to, to be honest, it was unreal. He was obviously very happy with it because he started asking me whether I could make a bass. It was going to be a matte finished black body with gold hardware. And then I was going to put purple um, fibre optic lighted inlays along the fingerboard so that they glow. I'd literally started it over these last few days. This is CNN Breaking News. And CNN has now confirmed that the artist Prince is dead. It, it was just massively shocking because my whole life, really, over the last few months has, has been focused on him. His manager had told me, Prince would like to speak to you if we can work out a time. And unfortunately, that time never happened. I like to imagine maybe, I don't know whether he's going to thank me or to say what he thought of it, but it would have been amazing to have had that conversation. How does it feel to have probably made Prince's last guitar? <laughs> well, I... Uh, I feel a bit of a cheat, to be honest, because there's so many people that have made guitars for him before that, where, that he has used and really promoted. I mean, I've come in right at the end, and who knows where it would have gone, but I would have liked to think that it would have been his next guitar that he would have done stuff with. But unfortunately, you know, it didn't happen like that. The last photo he's ever seen of him is him holding up my guitar. So, I mean, that's kind of special, but at the same time, really sad. I just feel grateful in the end that he did get the guitar.